now for our first dot com check. What's going on on the web this morning, Emily? Good morning, guys. You know, it's Wednesday, and sometimes people need a little pick me up during their work day. So I definitely advise everyone to go to our website, wingingit.tv, and check out some really cool videos we have right now on our entertainment page. I'm here on our website, wingingit.tv, and you get to our entertainment page by just clicking entertainment in that black bar across the top of the screen. And when you go there, you'll see we have some really cool videos right now, and really something for everyone. We have all kinds of things. And this first video I wanted to show you is actually from Italy. It's of Mount Etna um, and an eruption there that was caught on camera. Really, really cool video and something that, unlike probably anything you've ever seen before. So this video right now is on our entertainment pit page. Now, completely different from that, we have another video that will definitely keep your interest for a little bit. I watched about a minute of it. And this is a video of all cool domino tricks. And that was something if you just need to get away from the work day and uh, have fun for a minute, you can check out this video on our entertainment page. It took a couple people months to create this video using 25,000 dominoes. So it's just something fun to check out. Maybe something your kids will think is really cool. And again, check this out on our entertainment page on uh, wingingit.tv. Of course, we're talking to our viewers on Facebook and Twitter this morning, and we're asking you about a, um, something we'll be learning more about in the dish, which is GQ unveiled its top five men of 2013. We want to know who you think should be on that list. I know Lauren will be giving us all the details in the dish coming up, but let us know who you would like to see on there. We'll share your comments later on. But now we're going to send it over to Lauren, who's out in the studio. Hey, Matt, you know, now that everyone's learned a little bit about Horse Feathers Market, you might want to know more. So I want to show you that online you can learn a lot about it. All you need to do is go to horsefeathersmarket.com, and you'll see they have a website that tells you all about their building and, of course, their role in the neighborhood. Something I really like about their website is you can actually highlight the building by floor to see wh what the building has on it. It's really cool, and, it, again, I really like learning all about the neighborhood, and they have a section for that as well. So this is just on horsefeathersmarket.com. So definitely check that out if you're intrigued after watching Matt's story right there. Now, I have to tell you, this is happening online this morning, but we just got some interesting news in from the Buffalo Sabres this morning. So I'm going to switch over to that, go over to WIVB.com, where I just posted a story about the Sabres because we just got word that the Sabres are holding what they call a major news conference at 1030. So that's less than an hour from now. So this story that I just posted will be continuing to be updated throughout the day as we learn about what the major news is the Sabres have for us. And if it is big, big breaking news, you will learn about that um, through our text alerts and um, if you have our app we'll send that news right to your phone um, as we hear the big news from the Sabres so that's happening this morning within the hour so we'll be busy working on that but now we're gonna send it back out to the studio to see what Matt's doing